I'm doing nothing all day. You can get your pack of trio and go out and play! Oh, man, that's a wrap. Trio are terrific. This is one of the most powerful upright cleaners. This is the new Electrolux Contour, the most powerful upright you can buy. On a flying visit to McDonald's. Dropping some friends off first. Over. You fancy a quick dip, champs? Wow, wow. McNuggets away! For that one. I say, what happened to number six? I think he's a bit chicken. Surf Automatic has the cleaning power to remove really stubborn dirt and stains at low temperatures to leave your clothes really fresh. <laughs> so, for outstanding low temperature cleaning, get Surf Automatic in powder and liquid. Get surfing. I'd like to complain about the new Ready Break advert. It tells children to collect tokens from these packs and then they can send off for free Dennis the Menace merchandise. Well, Dennis is a menace. If he were my son, I... <laughs> I'd see the special packs for details. And now it's time to spat Scully. What are you doing with that mop? It's not a mop, it's my Easter thing. It's a tribble. Scully, it's cute and lovely. It's and a, a mop. Mm. I want to eat here. No, I'm sorry, sir. You can't eat here. You've got to take your very nice self and that nice three, food five, out of here. Four, no, three, two, one. Yeah! Yeah! You can see the cheese situation is kind of critical. You got all that? Yes, that's uh, cheddar cheese. It says chewy chicken yeah! chunks, chilled cherry cheesecake, chopped chips, cheddar cheese, and chutney. Check. Yeah! I, I never miss uh, an issue of your magazine. Yes, I, I, I always read Blow Off magazine. Pardon? Yeah, of course. Blow Out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, they'll be here tomorrow. Marvelous. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yes, thank you. Oh, well, look, don't you worry, TJ. I'll be here. <laughs> go, 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 go. Trickler? Too late. Shouting hours are over. Guess who's coming here tomorrow? A restaurant critic from Blow Out Magazine. No, a rest... <laughs> How did you know? Blow Out Magazine. They called last week. Didn't I tell you? No, you did not. Pretty good, huh? Pretty good, huh? More than just good, huh? It's stupendous, huh? It's a blue Stop! I'm going to roll my Where do you think you're going? Home. Home. Now look, nobody's going no place until this place is clean. Wait, 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 wait. I can see my face in it, Miss Hudson. This place is clean. What do you call this then? Dirty chip. Let's get these people back to work. Oh, you are a wicked woman. <laughs> I cannot overemphasize enough the importance of this visit. Cannot overemphasize enough. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes Miss Hansen. Hansen. And if one of you little miscreants let me down, it's kill the tour. What exactly does that mean? Let me down, and you'll find out. <laughs> 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 
Let's just say it involves a pair of rubber gloves, a standard lamp, and a plate of porridge. Get me! Yes, yes Miss Hanson. Yes, Miss Hanson, you can count on me. Yes, you can count on me to make an impression. Don't be saying my impression of Mike Tyson. So can I count on you all? Yes, yes, yes Miss Hanson. Hanson. Good. Who made that noise? What me? Katwa. Katwa. Strickland. You. Nice turnout, men. At ease. This is stupid. No, some rotten food critic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, if it's rotten food they're after, then they've come to the right place, haven't they? <laughs> Listen, you guys, do you not know what a rave review in Blowout magazine is worth? I'm telling you, it could turn this place into a gold mine. Yeah, plus a chance to get your name in print. Yeah, plus a chance to get my name in print. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Listen to me. What is that noise? Sounds like... Dorothy. Oh, ask a stupid question. Oh, my Thinks a cod liver oil you're here, man. As you can see, the place is so spotless you can eat your food off the floor. I'll leave that little trick to you, Fido. Astonishing. No flies on us. You cannot fault us this time. Unprecedented. <laughs> Darn. Nice try, but like I said, the place is spotless. Okay. Well, I guess it's not bad. Come on, come on! Stop slouching. You're making the restaurant look untidy. Places, everyone! Get that filthy bike out of my nice, clean restaurant. <laughs> Can we open up now? Morning. Morning. Hello. Hang on a minute. What? Get those filthy clothes out of my nice, clean restaurant. Do what? If you want to eat in my restaurant, you have to go and have a bath first. Now go on, scram. Get out, sir. Go on, get out. <laughs> TJ? I want no riffraff in here today. Everything has got to be perfect. Everything is perfect. Look around. Well, this is Fats as it should be. <laughs> TJ, come on. Relax. It's probably nothing. I'll get an electrician in right away. Well, make sure she's a clean electrician. Cheese, Maxie. Where's the cheese? Hey, where's the cheese on this, Maxie? You've run out. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Our cheese, we ain't got none. No cheese? What do you mean there's no cheese? Get out of the way, everybody. Cheese, cheese. Where's the cheese? There isn't any. Oh. And there isn't any mayonnaise either. And we're pretty low on salt, gherkins, and donuts. Oh. I know what he's doing. He's trying to destroy me. But I won't crack, Strickland. I'm uncracking. How are we on eggs? Um. <laughs> You sure about this, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, straight up. Your brother's a qualified electrician? Well, he's got his own screwdriver. <laughs> no, no, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. No, um, he's the business. Dead reliable, not too expensive, and here's the clincher. It can be round here in five minutes. Book him. Strickland! Strickland! Strickland, I know that name. Isn't he the guy that runs that perfect Spats restaurant? The only way you're gonna bury me is over my dead body. Bear it in mind. You think I have a tumble to your grubby little ploy? Where is my delivery truck? Ah. Yes. Ah. I would have told you, but I knew you'd freak. Me? Freak? We only have one of the world's top restaurant critics coming here today, and all we have to offer them is a napkin and a packet of pepper. Why should I freak? Relax, would you? Oh, everything is under control. The truck is here. Where's my cheese? Look, look, do you mind? I'm trying to keep track of the fellow's progress. But he should have been here hours ago, first thing this morning. He would have been, but there was an accident up here on the motorway. And... Hello. Yeah, Trevor, great. Yeah, hang on a sec. Yeah? Great, great. Uh-huh. Good. All right, keep on trucking. Talk to you later. Great. He'll be here in half an hour. All he has to do is turn left on Edgeware Road. He won't be here for hours. <laughs> Input five on the Richter scale. Call in the emergency. 
emergency services. I'm declaring my wall a disaster area. I'm not listening. Any joy? Well, these things take time, Vinny. You can't rush them. Especially when you're being paid by the hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Oh, and uh, don't forget my 10% commission. So slow down a bit, eh? You! Why aren't you in uniform? Uh, because he isn't me. I'm me. I mean, he's my brother, my, my twin brother, Darren. You poor kids. Get to work. <laughs> well, how long's he gonna be? Ah. Uh, it's worse than I thought, I'm afraid. I mean, Look at his wiring. Well, let's just say if it's not hung soon, you will be. Sounds reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> and where have you been? Oh, I just had to pop out to get a paddling pool. <laughs> right. Now, I'm sorry, sir, we haven't got any cheese maxis left. But listen, what about one of our new sensational product line? Yes, a giant size. Fried quarter pounder. There you go. Yeah. Burger there with some lettuce. Get some lettuce on top of that. There you see. Lettuce, lots of lettuce. And mustard. And some ketchup. Ooh. What do you call this? Don't you realise the food critic is going to be here any minute? What are you doing, you deadhead? We've run out of boxes and we haven't got any buns. I know. I don't believe it. I know what he's doing. He's hidden everything to drive me insane. Short journey. <laughs> Debbie, look. Oh, I know. I noticed him. Oh, he's been standing out there for the ages. Stand out there in the rain. Why? Because you'll catch your death. Now come inside. Come on. Are you waiting for somebody? Yeah, she'll be here in a minute. What is it? Your girlfriend? It's none of your business, really, is it? Look, take a word of advice from an old hand. If she's the sort of girl that keeps you waiting, pack her in. Yeah, but you can't pack your mum in, can you? Ah! So it's your mum you're waiting for. Give that girl a coconut. Oh, yeah, OK. So where's your mum going, then? What is this, the Spanish Inquisition? No, no, it's the new spat to get to know your customers policy. Get eight out of ten questions right, and you get a free go with my hat. <laughs> <laughs> Doing standing there dripping on my freshly waxed floor. <laughs> Dear, where is my delivery truck? Strickland! Oh, come on, come on, sit down. And tell us where she's going. If you must know, she dropped me off in the car, but it was all double yellow line, so she went to look for a parking space. What, all this time to find a parking space? Was she driving an aircraft carrier? <laughs> you don't think she's had some sort of... This hat smells of cod liver oil. Where is my truck? It's real weird. I had him on the map all the way to Cricklewood Broadway and then zip. Listen up, driver man. Any minute now, a restaurant critic is gonna walk through the doors of this restaurant and if my deliveries aren't here by then, you can kiss your gear stick goodbye! You know what I'm saying? Cry, cry lower down, not on the river. On the river. <laughs> There's got to be something somewhere. Hey, it's that. What's with the paddling pool? Huh? You teaching yourself how to swim? <laughs> It's not for me, it's for Damien, Doris, Duke and Dorothy. What? Who? Come on, children. Oh. What are those? Ducks. Where'd you get those from, man? 
can't get rid of them. So I was at my auntie's house in the country a few weeks ago, and, well, there was these little baby ducks just come out the shells. Well, we started having a chat, you know, how'd you do? Hello, duck, how are you? Feeling better now you're out your shell, are you? And we got on like a house on fire. The next thing you know, well, to cut a long story short, Damien, Doris, Duke and Dorothy, they think... <coughs> they think I'm their mother. <laughs> What do you think we should do with him? Well, I reckon we should call the police. Police? No, no, no police. Uh, no, it's all right, Darren. Get back to work. It's nothing to do with you. Maybe I should go and try and find his mother. Hello? Do I have any say in this? It is me we're talking about. I don't need looking after. I'm going. No, no, you can't. You can't look after me. You'll get into terrible trouble. Oh, just tell her... Uh, oh, I don't know. Make something up. Tell her she's got a nosebleed. You can knock yourself away in the toilet for a good half hour with a nosebleed. I mean, no one wants to look at a nosebleed, do they? Anyone seen Stanley? Hey, man. Tell me quick, which one do you fancy? Pine or teak? Hey, For your coffin. Cos you're a dead man when Karen cops a load of this. Stanley! Oh, the old Dexter. Take this. I won't be a sec. Oh, 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 oh. Stanley, good. You're almost out of everything. Stanley, my boy, you're a trifle moist. Take this, go down to the supermarket, get all the rolls, burgers, and cheese you can get. Get stuff that looks like spat stuff if you can, but if you can't, get anything you can, because we can't close up today of all days. But, uh, look, this ought to cover it. But, no, just take it, Stanley, and go. Go on. Go, 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 go. Yes, that's right, Constable. A, a missing truck. What do you mean, what does it look like? It's a big thing with four wheels. <laughs> yes, it's got spats written on the side. Spats. S-P-A-T-Z. Yeah, and look out for the goofy-looking guy in the top hat and tails. Yeah, he's holding onto a hamburger. No, it's not the driver. It's the design on the side of it. Forget it. Forget it. I'll find it myself. And this is the country that gave us Sherlock Holmes? Oh. Enough already. I'm sorry I laughed in the cinema when E.T. died. I repent, so give me a break, will you? Well, he deserved to die with a face like that. Good news. Thank you. Thank you. I sent Stanley down to the supermarket for some food. How's that going to save my skin? Buying us some time. It's doing something. I'll do something. Yeah, get me Mission Impossible. Uh, sorry, mate. Want food? What do you think this place is? A restaurant? No, oh, what's your name? Who wants to know? Right. <laughs> My name's Freddy. Kruger. Look, we need you to tell us your name because we can't find your mother and you're a lost child. I'm not lost. I know where I am. I'm here. Well, as far as we're concerned, you're lost, right? I mean, you certainly could be a bit more upset about it, eh? Uh, sorry. But I'm starving. Oh, OK, how's this, then? It's a new line, the low-calorie diet burger. No buns, so fewer calories. No burger, so less fat. No onions, so fresher breath. No ketchup or mayonnaise, so less mess. Otherwise known as... a napkin. <laughs> Enjoy. I'll do my best to you, Dave. No sign of the food critic yet, huh? No. For all the trouble we've gone to, the least they can do is show up. Who's this? Well, we don't know what his name is because he won't say and we can't find his mum. Yeah, he's been sitting there all morning. Oh, uh, tell you, would you like a piece of gum? My mum told me not to take sweets from strange men. They don't come much stranger than you. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> do you, uh, do you like football? So what if I do? What, do you like Gary Lineker? I might. Yeah, well, he was, uh... You might? <laughs> he was in here a couple weeks ago. Sure. Hey, it's true. Yeah, yeah, him and TJ are big buddies. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, really, really. Maybe I could, um, get you an autograph. Yeah. All right, um, who should I tell him to sign it to? Tell him to sign it to Charlie M. Charlie! <laughs> Flip. Okay, okay, my name's Charlie. Charlie M. Hudson. 
What's the M for? It's a motorway between London and Bristol. Ron, what else are we up for London? What? You can't go. Oh, no, 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 I won't be long. Well, hurry back, will you? Go back. Hallelujah, the cavalry's here. I've got all the burgers and the buns and the cheese and everything. Oh, Stanley, I can kiss you. Oh, no, TJ, I don't want my baby thinking you're their father. <laughs> don't tell me that, Stanley. Hey, look after this. I'll go tell Karen the food's here. <laughs> hey, but what about Charlie? Oh, he's ne next on my list. Stop fussing, will you? I'm starting to like it here. What like the head oil, says? Salami? Stanley! We don't have salami on the menu! <laughs> been missing their mummy then, eh? Mummy went away, didn't he? But now mummy's back, isn't he? What are they doing here? Art's mummy. Well, Damien's having a double. Dorothy's ruffling her feathers. Do you? Yeah, yeah, OK, OK, OK. Question two, what is all this supposed to be? Oh, yeah. Well, TJ said I had to get stuff that was as close to spat stuff as I could. And the burgers I got are too small, but the salami's the right shape and size and everything. Oh. And the closest I could get to the buns was those with currants in and icing on the top. Oh, and you know how our cheese comes in square slices? Yeah. Well, I've got this. Well, what is it? Marzipan. Marzipan? It's a conspiracy. No, oh, it is. It really is. Everybody hates me. Oh, everybody's always hated me ever since I was a little girl. Even my own mother had it in for me. Well, of course she did. Well, why else would she fake her own death and then turn up years later disguised as a nun in Argentina? <laughs> well, a foul out of help you've been, Buster. Who was that, your analyst? No, it was a wrong number. I just had to talk to somebody. I think I'm cracking up. Well, this ought to cheer you up. We have food. The truck's arrived. No, Stanley's back. Look, it's better than nothing. I disagree. Well, the only rational solution to this catastrophe... What's that? Tell the food to come back another day? No. We fricassee the food critic. <laughs> Here we go, sir. One surprise spat burger. What's the surprise? Suck it. And see. Mother? Karen, Karen, don't you think you're overreacting? Things can't be that bad. Oh, this is disgusting. What is this? Salami, marzipan, icing, and currants. Maybe things can be that bad. Oh, made it! The truck's here, the truck's here! Where have you been, you big lunk? Don't you realize the food critic's gonna be here any minute? I'll go here ages ago. I'll go into the one way system and this, this bird in a beat up beetle banged into the back of me, buckled me bumper, bust me brake like blow me, tried to blame me. So I pulled her out, she started blubbing, wanted to bell the boys in blue, bit of an argy bodge, you know what I mean. Anyway, couldn't get away. Sorry, mate. Oh, you're here now. Yeah, I'll get the rest of the stuff. Ah! You're the restaurant critic. That's right. Mother! Oh, Charlie, where have you been? Oh, I'm sorry. I went to park the car, and then coming round the one-way system, this stupid truck driver pulls right out in front of me and wham! Yeah, 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 OK. Right, we've heard that. <laughs> Why don't you just write your scabbers review and go home? Frankly, I'm feeling a bit shaken. I hope you don't mind, but I would rather come back another day. Oh, would you? I... I... All right, 
picture of you. It's brilliant here. I want to come every day and bring all my friends. It's great. Well, if my son likes it, that's enough for me. Come on then, home. Bye. 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 How do you like that, Karen? We're gonna get a rave review anyway. All that stuff about everybody hates you. It all worked out for the best. You're right. I guess somebody up there does like me. That one is fierce. On next week's episode of Spats... Captain Electric! Who found Princess Zelda when she went missing on the planet Rassafras? Captain Electric! And who located the lost crystals of Krakuvius? Captain Electric! And who tracked down the elusive flying Tharg of Plutombo? Captain Electric! No, my next door neighbor, Mr. Tribble, you had a dental appointment that day. Oh, what are you doing? I'm going back to Glasgow. The long way around via Mozambique. No, you, you can't just walk out. Who's going to be walking, pal? You've been a long time. I was just going to go out and get my uncle's blood down to come looking for you. And I remembered, <laughs> I haven't got an uncle. A new book featuring all your favourite Spats characters has just been published by Tim's Mammoth. Ooh. I bet they can breathe easier now. I bet they can. I'm talking of breathing more easily. Yeah. Ask Scotty tomorrow. Mr Bill already's got some amazing facts. If you scatter some plants around the house, listen to this. Wow. Mm. You know, if you want to keep the air in your house all fresh and clean, there's all sorts of spray...